Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and we finally have a first look into the next season, season 5, scoreboard and all the rewards that we'll be able to earn. Let's explore together if those rewards are good. Alright, then let's start from the start. And first we have Kid Inkwell Escape player icon. I, I would not be too impressed with that. Next we have a Voltex Supply Package, we know them already from the past. Carry Weight Booster and here we have Fortune Teller Machine. And that's how this Fortune Teller Machine looks like on the screenshots. I mean, alright, I'm not personally impressed with uh, this furniture, but some people certainly will be. Now we have a Backpack Flare. But yeah, all right, I'm not impressed either. Then we have lunch boxes, a standard propaganda posters. Oh, I like posters actually. And yeah, those posters are, are quite cool. There is only two photos, but I'm guessing there is more than two posters. Then yeah, I like posters. I like posters, then this is actually good for me. You can absolutely disagree and you can like different things. A legendary module, that's useful. Next we have atoms, caps, only 500, that's not too much, a hat, charmer hat, and if you like it, I don't think I will be wearing this hat, but it's here. Next we have large supply package, after that we go and there's a green skull player icon, and this icon is cool, unlike the first icon, this I can see people using. It's cool icon. Next, we have per card pack. After that, more posters. All right, I like posters. Then we have more posters. Cool, more posters. Next, more lunch boxes and new series of power armor skins. As usually, starting with T45 paint. What do you think about the paint? Personally, I'm not impressed. I don't know, let me know what you think. Next, we have three legendary cores. I don't like this, as I'm pretty sure I will have way more legendary cores than legendary modules. Although for some of you it can be useful, then cores are here. More atoms, more caps, another flare, this time it's Alistar flare. flare. I can see Alistar actually using it. Yep, yeah, alright, this, this look good. Uh, three perfect bubble gums, then open and closed sign. Open, closed. Okay, very simple to the point. It can be useful. Next, we have display frame. What's meant? Those are fixed and are returning in the season five. Then finally, you will be able to display power armor. I didn't test those displays yet, but after I test the recent update on PTS, certainly I will keep you informed. Uh, then we have per card pack, and if you have followed first, more lunch boxes. After that, nuclear key cards. Then T51 B paint, the same paint, just different armor type. Uh, after that, legendary script, more atoms, gold bullion, uh, raider goon outfit. Okay, I can see some raiders being interested in this outfit. It, it does look okay. Next we have Scrap Kids, 42nd Century, player icon. All right, what's next? More pair card packs, mind, oh, 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 that's for me. It's look like I will be using Ultrasight Gatling laser again, if it comes for Ultrasight. Uh, does it say? Skin is craftable weapon workbenches. Laser Gatling. Does it work with Ultra Sight or only leg regular Laser Gatling? I hope it does work with Ultra Sight. As you know, Laser Gatling is a weaker version of Ultra Sight Laser Gatling. Then I really hope it's for Ultra Sight as well. We will see, but I like it. I want it. Next, we have some lunch boxes. Excavator paint from this series. And I need to say, 
Excavator looks better than previous one. It's the best power armor, it even looks better. Uh, then we have legendary cores, five of those, so more atoms, more caps, and Raider Gun Helmet. Oh, helmet for the costume is separate. Then that's like a second part of the costume. Next we have basic Reaper kits, jumping the gap. Okay, photo mode poses are useful. And yeah, I can see this being used. It's good, thumbs up, nice one. Uh, then we have more pericard packs, blood eagle paint for the fixer. That's good. We need fixer paints, although not necessary as many as we already have some, but people are using fixers then. I can see that this makes sense, plus it's different than other paints and it does look quite good. If someone ra likes red and black, here you go. Next, we have more legendary modules. Those are really useful because we are limited by script. Then five legendary modules is equivalent of 250 script. And that's quite a lot. This is good. Uh, next, there is a T60 paint, the same paint, just T60. After that, more atoms. Then we have stairs with posts. Oh, 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 yeah. Those stairs are indeed looking really good and the building community will be excited to put them into use with builds. I, I like the wooden look. It's really nice. It will fit with those new wooden walls and roofs. Perfect. After that, we have more atoms, more caps, more care weight boosters. Mind Overlord, is it another player icon? Yes, but this one is the best I think so far. That's a super cool. I like the Delphin. Uh, I'm a big fan of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, then you know I will like Delphins. <laughs> Next. Uh, Percat Packs. Outfit. Blood Eagle, Ch Blood Eagle Charmer Blues Outfit. And yep, it's perfect match with Fixer Skin. It will be a really nice for a stealth Blood Eagle with Blooded Fixer. <laughs> perfect. Perfect, that will look amazing actually. Uh, next, we have more lunch boxes. X01 paint skin now. Of course, we'll get the same skin for all the power armors. More legendary modules, more atoms, more gold bullion. Uh, I'm not a big fan of gold bullion. It, it will be easier to earn it now as they are increasing the limits then. Not the biggest fan, there is so often gold bullion. After that, we have Charmer Leather Outfit. Okay, then it's like a male version of the previous outfit. And you can make interesting couple if you both will wear those outfits with bloodied fixers. Yeah, that, that could look quite cool. After that, we have Scrap Kits, six of those. Uh, orange Mind player, player Icon. If you really want to be visible on the player list, then here you go, orange, a lot of orange. Then we have another pericard pack. So far only single, then that's not the best. Oh, Valorus Alistar paint for plasma gatling. That's the second paint for a plasma gatling, but it seems like a perfect match with gatling laser skin. Therefore you can, you can do an energy weapon, a heavy gunner, based on those two guns and let them perfectly match together. That's nice. I, I like that they, that they are doing sets now. Uh, then we have Liquid Courage. One of that's... Okay, Bethesda, that's, that's almost like a perfectly preserved pie. It's a joke on a player's. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it a lot. Then we have Ultra Side Paint. After that, more script, 250. More atoms and gold bullion again. After that, mind flare. And okay, I need to say that's my favorite so far. Obviously, that's my favorite flare for a backpack so far. It is so cool. All right, that, that's really good. Next, we have six Reaper kits. After that, battle cry photo mode pose. It's okay. It's not like, not phenomenal, but it's good. It's definitely useful. After that, single pair card pack and mind paint for T65 armor. 
and yeah, it's looked better than our previous armors, but still not impressed. You let me know. Is mind paint looking good for you on any of the power armors? Be honest and let me know. After that, we have free lunch boxes, washer and dryer set. Oh, that was missing in all the houses. Finally, finally, this is good. This is really good. If someone wants to have a real house, finally, washer and dryer. Good old style classic. Perfect. Uh, what's next? Next, we have five legendary modules, 150 atoms, 200, 500 caps, more legendary modules. Do you have the same feeling like me that there is a lot of repeatable rewards and not as many unique rewards than before? Uh, I will zoom out at the end, but it's looked like that for me. Carry weight booster, uh, KD Inkwell dashing. That's another player icon. I think we are already at high score for number of player icons on this board. Okay, single pericard pack. Valorus Alistar. Oh, oh, what's that? What is it for? Sword. But okay, I see that it's a sword, but for what? Iconic blade. The sword skin can be applied to most one-handed blade weapons. Oh, this is universal skin for one-handed blade weapons. So bad that one-handed. I wish Bethesda would do some buff for one-handed weapons. They adding something cool and it's one-handed weapons only. Although if it can be applied to shish kebab and if they will eventually fix the friendly fire, that could be cool. All right, next, uh, nine lunch boxes, uh, mind paint for the power armor and for which one now? Uh, then we have legendary script, more atoms, more gold bullion and Alistar backpack. Okay, let, let me see. What do you guys think? It's unique. I have like Star Wars vibe, it's like a Star Wars vibe into this Alistar backpack. Not hundred percent sure, but that that's my first like first feeling looking on this backpack and it does look quite good. I like it. I'm, I'm looking a little bit longer. I'm thinking, but I like it. I like it. Uh, next Overlord Beerstain. All right, that's that's quite cool, beer stain. Okay, next, triumphant, Alistar emote, uh, no screenshots. Pair coins, 50 of those. Pair coins, always good and welcome. Uh, Alistar headwear, and headwear is actually super cool. Yep, super cool, Mandalorian. Do you think the same when you look at this helmet, Mandalorian? <laughs> First word coming into my mind, Mandalorian. Uh, next we have five legendary cores, Alistair outfit. Wow. Okay, wow. Here. That's the best outfit I saw for a while added by Bethesda. It's so cool. Okay, point for Bethesda here. That's really good. Feel free to disagree. I will not change my opinion. It's really good. It's great. I like it. I will definitely use it. Okay, next we have Red Racket Collection Station. Oh, wow, it's so cool. Okay, at least at the end, they put a good rewards. It's so cool. I want this Collectron. And it looks like he can wave or do okay sign or both at once. I don't know, but I like it. I don't know what he will be collecting, but it's so cool. I will use it as a skin. Even if I swap for, for whatever else I want to collect, I want it. Yeah, that, that's really cool. And we are at the very end, the escape bundle. And we don't see much here. Uh, we see the board and we see the stain. And apart from that, it's blank, but it says includes mind power armor escape game board and 500 atoms okay power armor we cannot see this skin is it a good one i hope it's a good one but yeah we will need to wait for this one we don't know how it looks like yet but final rewards are quite cool now let me zoom out okay 
that's as much as I can zoom out. Let me show you the entire scoreboard and how it looks like when we zoom out. It's quite cool. I need to say I like the graphics of this particular scoreboard. Uh, definitely, in my opinion, better than Paw Patrol that we have now. It's looking way nicer. But to take a look on all those rewards, let's count how many unique rewards we have. And player icons, I will not count. Player icons, are just that just not, just no. Then we have one. Flare, okay, flare is okay. Two, three, four, five. Although posters are broken into two categories, but okay, let them be five. Power armor, I will not count every single version of power armor separately. It will be counted once, then it's six. That's seven, eight, nine, 10, uh, that's play, player icon, doesn't count. 11, that's skin. Helmet, that's 12. Photo mouse, that's 13. Skin, 14. Paint again, that's 15. Uh, it's repeatable. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and final it's like two, then like 30 in total, 30 unique rewards in total for the entire scoreboard. I think that's the lowest. Unless I will add the fallout first, like this bird cage, then that will be like 31. Is there anything unique on the fallout first? Oh, there's like... what? I think they forgot to put the fallout first rewards. There's only here a lunchbox and at the very end there is a bird cage. Then 31, if we count this bird cage that requires fallout first. I think that's like the lowest. I don't know if you guys agree. I think that's like the lowest. The final rewards are really cool and I don't know how I'm supposed to classify it. There is some quality into final rewards, but in the same time, overall number of rewards is shrinking. But from the other hand, there is no two months delay, then I don't know, guys. You judge it, you let me know. Is it worth it? No delay, couple high quality rewards, but much less rewards overall and more repeatable rewards than what do you think I, I'm, I'm a little bit confused here i don't know what to think but that being said at this moment for me it will be best to just log out and let's wait for your comments therefore as always thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one